The Associated Press has learned that Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl will plead guilty next week to desertion and misbehavior before the enemy. Bergdahl had been expected to go to trial very shortly, but instead he will plead guilty and move on to sentencing in a few weeks. Bergdahl had been serving in Afghanistan for about five months in 2009 when he walked away from his remote post and was detained by the Taliban. He spent roughly five years in Taliban captivity before being traded for five Taliban detainees at Guantanamo Bay. The circumstances behind Bergdahl's disappearance from his military unit remain hazy, but his defense attorneys have not disputed the fact that he walked away from his base without authorization. Bergdahl said he wanted to report problems and issues that he had concerns about the way the military was operating. He's also been found by an army medical evaluation to have some mental health issues. Bergdahl's case raised really difficult questions for the United States about loyalty, negotiating with hostage takers, and America's commitment not to leave its troops behind. He was a deserter. He was a dirty, rotten deserter. And President Donald Trump has called Bergdahl a traitor who should be executed. There's a lot of anger among people who feel that he abandoned his fellow soldiers and shouldn't have had others go looking for him and later get injured in the process. It's not exactly clear why Sergeant Bergdahl agreed to plead guilty, but there had been several rulings in the past few months that were against his defense team that could have made it much harder for him to defend himself in a trial. We don't know how much time, if any, Bo Bergdahl will serve, but under the legal maximum, he could face five years on the desertion charge and a life sentence for misbehavior before the enemy.